Exactly two years ago, Cooper had zero earnings to his name. He had a bad duo and he had a bad setup that was holding him back. Since then, he's gone ahead and made 500k from playing tournaments. He's got loads of solo cash cup wins under his belt. And of course, he just won the global championships in Copenhagen, I Jolling Mero, with an insane amount of kills. The most kills ever recorded on a land by a duo. In this video, I'm going to show you guys 15 of the best how to W key tips and tricks and strategies that you can use if you want to get better at fighting like Cooper is. He's one of the best solo players in the world, and this is an absolute banger of a video filled with things that you guys can learn from. Let's get straight into it. First things first, Cooper is an absolute master of turning a defensive situation into an offensive one where you can get counter damage and get peace in the opponent. So this fight starts very typically. Both players start ramping towards each other, something that happens every single game when you play a tournament. And here Cooper makes an initial mistake. The guy does a nicely timed counter peek, gets an 85 tag on Cooper. So what does Cooper do? 99% of you guys watching will just box up and play the fight defensive and play like a pussy on the back foot the entire time. What Cooper does is very smart. He uses some quick kills so he gets a splash off so he can't get one pumped. And then now here, he looks for immediate counter damage. He gets a quick 34 tag from above, but he doesn't keep on aggroing this top side and trying to get a double out on the guy where it's going to be a 50 50 edit and he has less HP. Instead, what he does is he goes ahead, drops down to the right hand side, so he's getting a natural right and peak. Cone slides, gets a nice 130 bang, and then now he is the one turning up the tempo and aggroing the other player, and they're trying to play defensive. The other guy, since this is high low, does a good job of just making space and playing his heels, and Cooper does the same thing, but he does try to bait it out and tries to get the quick wall replace on the guy. The guy, again, just backward stairs, gets out of the box, makes space in metal. So Cooper slows down, they both go back to full HP, and the fight restarts with Cooper again on the front foot. What does he do? First of all, is he sets up this really nice right and peak. This is one of the best wall replace peaks that you can do in an open situation like this where he's got this natural rank peak with a stair the guy opens up he blanks his shotgun but he's able to get a stair in and instead of committing here onto the cone itself he comes back up onto the stairs it's such a good peak to do and now he's swinging into the box and every time the guy opens up he can't hit anything because cooper is on that right peak now here he gets an ideal situation he's got the wall on the guy the guy's left there standing cluelessly he quickly replaces it with his smg hits a max and takes him out because of how good that peak is from above. This next box fighting tip is so crucial, but it's really important that you guys get in the habit of doing this. As you can see here, Cooper is wall replacing this guy, gets the wall, and he sees that the guy's pencil is up and not his blueprint. What this means is that the guy's holding an edit, and most of the time, especially where the guy's looking, he's gonna be trying to do a 50-50 edit and just try to aggro Cooper straight away. As you can see, the guy's pretty shambles, he needs to go ahead and just do a 50-50. So what does Cooper do here? He commits to breaking the stairs, you can see, slides the cone in, and really simply, while the guy's got the shotgun pull out time, he just resets his wall and holds it. It is so crucial that you guys get in the habit of doing things like this, reading what the other player is doing, what is their pencil, what is their blueprint doing, and as you can see, now he's going to go ahead and do an open edit, has good movement here to avoid taking too much damage, and takes the guy out and gets a nice simple refresh before end game. If you guys want to go ahead and get more kills and opens, always try to go for the four cast tower. When you activate it, it's worth three kills, which is really important for getting a good amount of points first game, as well as Cooper went for this pretty much all of his games. What he normally does is try to get hit early and he plays nice and slow once he aggroes the bot and tries to figure out where the other people are. This is really important because you're always going to have somebody who's trying to sneak over from different directions, as you can see here. So he goes ahead and does a nice smart peek to so make sure he doesn't get sniped from the back. Beams this guy 90 and then now he's able to drop back down and get the bot and get the card for free. Another very useful tip if you've got spare crash pads and you just want to rotate quickly is to throw them down on the floor in front of you. And as you can see here, you slide into the crash pad. It's going to send you boosting into the forecast tower and into some free kills for Cooper. Two of the reasons why Cooper is so good at box fighting and why he won the global championships is first of all, because he waits for a mistake at the start of the fight. And as soon as somebody makes that mistake, he turns up the tempo of the fight. So here you can see he smacks on him once and he's going to wait for this other guy to do a counter peak, which of course pretty much 99% of the players are going to try to look for some counter damage when they're on the defensive. So what does Cooper do? He goes ahead and approaches from the floor above, does this really smart peak as you can see here. The guy cannot see him at all, he's completely invisible and he gets a free opening bit of damage. And now it's only a small bit of damage, but the guy is going to try to play defensive and try to get his heels off, which Cooper's of course not going to allow. Here he swaps up his angles, changes the direction he's approaching from and Again, he's going to approach really smartly here, smacks normal once, waits for the mistake from this guy. As you can see, he's got this wall that he can reset in just in case. And then now he's going to go ahead and grow forward, keeps up that tempo. There's a nice 155 bang there on the guy and goes ahead and jumps in and takes him out. 
and turns up the tempo as soon as he gets that damage. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to learn directly from the pros himself, go check out the Solos Masterclass 5.0. It is the best investment you can make in terms of getting your first earnings. And I recently added this whole new section from inside the mind of the global champions. There's five videos from Mero, including fighting and solos, as well as a couple of Rodriguez of first place tournaments that he's had, as well as a brand new video from Cooper that recorded just before Copenhagen. My name is Cooper, and this is how I got third place in the Solo Cash Cup. I got my first earnings by winning a Solo Cash Cup in Chapter 2 Season 8, and I'm a Copenhagen qualifier with Mero. Cooper is one of the best solo players in NA. There's a lot of things that I learned doing this video with him, as well as it is a really valuable bit of information that you can get from one of the best players in the world. Go check it out now. One of the best tips I'll give you guys just to get more kills and opens is just to get better AR tracking. It might seem really simple, but if you just spend about 20 minutes a day doing some in-game aim training or even a bit of Kovacs, you're going to get way more kills during opens and you're going to get way more free gifted loot just like this. This is an absolute masterclass in defensive box fighting by Cooper. Everything he did here is absolutely perfect and you guys should learn from it as well. First of all, the guy on height gets about 60 tank to open the fight. So Cooper comes back into his box, pops a mini, and he wants to get this big off so he can back, be back on 200 HP. Very crucially, the first step in all defensive box fighting is having a 2 by one just like this. And then very crucially, having this central wall, the four-tile edit. This four-tile edit is going to allow you to counter peek properly, cross box peek, as well as acts as a safety net in case the guy commits into your space and then you've got him full piece up. So what Cooper does is really nice. First of all, sm spots the guy smacking on his wall, cones are off, and then here he commits to the big pot. You wanna commit in case the guy starts smacking directly in the wall and then you can go ahead and just do an open edit while they're having their pickaxe out. The guy makes the mistake which is not aggroing and not pressuring and he's just swinging his pickaxe over and over. So Cooper commits to the big pot and as soon as he commits to it is he gets underneath his cone in case the guy grabbed his top and he's going to go ahead and look and reassess what the guy is doing. Really crucially is he's playing nice and slow waiting for the guy to make a mistake, waiting for him to be able to, be able to reload, waiting for the guy to keep on smacking the same wall. And as you can see, the guy keeps on pressuring the long side of the box. Didn't get the wall once, so Cooper immediately lines up this beautiful counter peek as the guy's got his pickaxe out, hits him, gets the cone above his head as well, which is really important. And then now here, he's just going to walk forward with the SMG, knowing he's got that 100 HP advantage and takes him out. Right here, Cooper gets W keyed by another Cooper who's just rocketing over, trying to slam into him. What he does is he looks for counter damage straight away, and he's going to pressure and try to close the fight out with the SMG. The SMG, especially if you get a good quality one, is the best thing for closing out fights. However, it's really crucial that you guys have good movement when you use it or whenever you get into a box. What I mean by good movement is swinging actively into one side as you get in the box, either to the right, so you go into their character model, or as you can see, what Cooper does here is he swings completely into the left and he's able to go ahead and get behind the guy and line up some free shots. If you just swing into somebody's front and go straight into them, it's easy for them to line up a shot. As you can see from the fake Cooper's POV right here, the real one comes swinging to his box and ends up getting completely behind him and it makes it really hard for him to line up a shot even with a gold tag. Going for Island is absolutely crucial, not just for getting the 15 points from it, but also you're going to get loads of kills from people who try to claim it. And especially if you play it correctly, like Cooper is doing here, which is claiming all of the space down on low ground and then fighting upwards and keep on claiming that space away from the opponent, you're going to have a really easy time of getting those 15 points. Kuba keeps on claiming the space away from this guy, eventually gets into a situation where the guy is low HP and take a look at how he pressures him. First of all, is he breaks the wall and then tries to force the AR straight into his box. And then now here, a lot of people would mess this situation up. They'd either go for a trade shot thinking, oh, the guy's low HP, I can win this trade. But what Cooper does is really special. Is he grabs the close wall, waits for the guy to shoot his shotgun, as you can see, and then edits it after holding the wall. And now he's going to double cone. The guy's completely left with nowhere to go and he gets a really free kill without taking any damage. At the start of this next fight, Cooper gets absolutely beamed and he's left on the defensive. So what does he do? First of all, is he commits to getting his slurp off, knowing that he's got this forward brick box that's going to protect him from getting shot by this guy. From here, he goes up and he makes space away from the opponent, which is really crucial, as you can see. He makes a backwards ramp, edits his wall, resets his wall, and then now the guy is going to commit into Cooper's edits at the same time as Cooper's slurp is ticking up and he's healing up. From here, Cooper does something very smart which is instead of peeking from this box against this guy where a few SMG bullets would kill him, instead he goes up and above. He's got a double layer of protection from below. And of course he has the double edit on the opponent right here. And he uses this double edit to look for a smart counter peek from above. The guy got sprayed by everybody and he takes the guy out and turns the fight on its head really quickly. 
Of course, the lobby helped Cooper out right there, but whenever you're making space like that, of course, other people are gonna go ahead and help you winning your fight if you're the one making the space. Whenever you've got a heavy shotgun, you need to really quickly use it to end fights. What Cooper does is he combines it with his AR really nicely. First of all, he shotgun replaces, then he AR replaces the cone, gets that trade shot right there, and then now the guy's completely caught off, it's all his piece. Cooper holds the wall for a second and then does an open edit and closes out the fight. He does the exact same thing on his next opponent. He does one shot from a distance, especially where the guy's not really expecting him to shoot from, gets the top replaced, gets the wall, so now the guy's got no way of blocking off as he replaces here, gets the floor edit, gets the stair inside the box, and then he does a pretty smart stair edit, however, the guy's in the wrong position for this edit, and he gets traded in return. So what does he do? Instead of aggroing while he's 100 HP and he could get one pumped, instead he pops a shield fish, just one, and then immediately aggroes the guy before he can get any types of slopes off or any other heals. Now here, goes for a shotgun replace, doesn't get the wall first time, but he gets it on the second attempt as the guy's trying to flip his there. And again, just presses straight away with the AR. Do not wait for your heavy shotgun to be ready. Instead, just take the opponent out with the AR and use it to break your builds. One of the reasons why Cooper is so good is because he knows how to use his movement to win off spawn at fights, as well as how to not take damage. He does this later on in the game, which we'll take a look at. But in this off spawn situation, he's in a 50-50 with no mats versus the controller FNCS winner, Byler. So how does he win this? First of all, is he uses his movement really nicely and does something called counter strafing and basically dodges where the other person is expecting him to peek from. Instead of running into this left hand peek, what he does is he looks into the wall, looks away from where Byler is expecting him to peek from, so he can't be seen at all. This is so crucial. As Cooper goes ahead and peeks back out, he looks to the left, so he's getting that movement acceleration from walking forward and it means that he's coming in and Byler misses his shot and he goes ahead and takes him out. It is really hard to practice this. I'd recommend doing aim jewels and it's going to teach you guys how to learn how to do this because it is so important. You can't really do it on a controller unless you play a high sense, but if on keyboard, it's really broken to do. It's going to allow you to win a lot more off spawn fights. Cooper is an absolute master of using his movement to his advantage when he does peace. Right here, a lot of players would commit into the box or they do a bad 50-50 trade edit. What Cooper does instead is perfect. He swings completely back to the left, gets behind this guy's own wall, uses it against him, and now lines up a nice free right peak. And what does he do after this? Instead of rushing the fight, leaving an open edit where the guy could do a counter peak on him, since so now the guy's in a slightly better position, instead he AR replaces his own stair. The guy blanks his shocks, he's getting yellowed in the stair, as you can see there. And then now, Cooper has control of the fight completely, and then this is the time where he uses movement correctly again. The guy's shotgun isn't ready, doesn't have a swap weapon that you can quickly kill him with, so what does Cooper do? Does a 50-50 edit now that the guy has no shotgun ready, he's standing there with his blueprint out looking like a cabbage, and he takes him out. This right here is a perfect refresh endgame by Cooper. First of all, is he's tarping front side and he spots somebody landing in storms, they're probably gonna pop whites after doing this, and of course, the guy doesn't have any centerpiece in his box, right? He doesn't have a coat. So what does Cooper do? He blocks off his angles, he tarps over, shotgun replaces with the heavy, and then here just does a quick Mongol classic since he knows the guy just pops a splash and it has that massive delay. A lot of the times these 50-50 edits are bad, but when you know somebody's low HP and you know that you need that refresh, especially when you've got a slope ticking, doing a 50-50 and when the guy's just standing there in a box is so free to do and he gets a nice juicy refresh, and of course, he's going to go on to win this game now since he's so stacked.